Hello, welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog, Discord server, Mimi group, Facebook group, Twittering, and Instagram, and YouTube.com backwards slash Eric Tenkar. If all goes well, we'll have a live stream tomorrow with Vince Florio. You know, hang out, give us some comments. We'll put them up on the screen. We'll answer what we can. Always a fun time. So, what is the news of the day? Well, it seems like our good friend, and I say good friend, I mean, you know, one of the handful that's threatened to take legal action against me, uh, not just once, Multiple times, including uh, was it a DCMA takedown threat. Uh, threatened they have the FBI waiting to interview me because I was interfering with his business. And his business is scamming motherfuckers in our community. Allegedly. So, who am I talking about? I'm talking about none other than Ken Kenny Whit Whitman. Uh, to know him is to know what it's like to be, well, be around a thief and a skell and all those other wonderful, wonderful things. Now, I'm going to preface this whole podcast with the uh, tag allegedly. Or, in my opinion, because Kenny uh, has threatened me with slander and libel action. And uh, I I can't fault him for not knowing the difference between the two, because I always forget. But since I talked about Kenny on the blog side, I figured I'd give him uh, an opportunity to at least get whatever legal action he wants to file, or threaten to file, or claim he filed against me have him at least be able to pick and choose between libel and slander because he'll have choices of both, theoretically. So, why am I talking about Ken Whitman? What is so 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 special about the Ken the Whitman? And I'm making like the Swedish chef, but... Well, here's here's the deal. Earlier today, Ken... Ken something that's it's unheard of, right? He has been silent on his Kickstarters for the most part for four years. Knights of the Dinner Table live action series. He hasn't piped up in over four years. I believe August of 2016 was his last posting on that Kickstarter. And now, all of a sudden, Ken, you 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 no, he's lying because he's communicating, whether it's in written form or, or verbally. You know the words that are coming out of his mouth are most likely bullshit. Ken, who uh, was sued in New York State Court by a Kickstarter backer who represented themselves in court, and I think Ken rec- uh, represented himself in court, Ken testified that all the footage to the live action series for Nights at the Dinner Table was lost sometime during the, I guess, the uh, when, when, when Ken was without a permanent place of residence. And he put his high-quality, expensive equipment and hard drives that he used when he was filming, in his friend's barn. Are we following so far? So all this shit was put in a barn, and guess what happened? I'll I'll, I'll give you a second to think about it. What could have happened to a barn? No, it wasn't wasn't stolen by aliens. No, uh... No, you know... Random people didn't come along and steal shit. No, no. It burned down. So, the uh, 
the stuff that Ken was being sued over no longer existed, right? So the court basically said, well, you can't make good on what you owe because you don't have it anymore. Basically, an act of God took care of Ken's liabilities, right? Well, apparently not. Apparently, my good friend Ken Whitman, uh, Kenny is apparently somehow or another found missing files. So here's the update from earlier today at the Knights of the Dinner Table live action series Kickstarter. Google it. You can play along at home. So, hey, everyone. This morning, I recovered the original files for KODT live action series. I am copying the files and shipping them to Jolly on Monday. How much do you think is involved in... Uh, Jolly, you just have to cover the shipping cost. Well, how much is shipping cost? Uh, $1,700 because I am shipping it uh, uh, next day after last day delivery uh, by Pony Express. Okay. I have reached out to Jolly and Dave and have asked for permission to remaster the product. However, my contract ran out years ago. So now the reason why you don't have any of this stuff, if you're a backer of this Kickstarter, it's not Ken's fault that you don't have what you paid for. You don't have it because, you guessed it, the contract ran out years ago. If I can get their permission to work on the footage, I would love to finish and distribute the project. Now, why we can love to distribute the project? Well, apparently, there must be some new scam way to make money off this shit, and he's hoping to find new suckers. Needless to say, I am going to be a very vocal individual... So long as Ken is involved in this project in any way to remind people of Kenny's history. I'm not going to tell any lies about him because the truth is much, much more effective. So, back to Kenny. I do ask for your forgiveness and hope I'm allowed a way to make amends for my shoddy business performance. I will keep you updated like I have it in the last four years and hope all of you are still enjoying one of the best drawn comics ever made. Ken Whitman. Well, Kenny, this isn't falling on the sword. This is putting your hand out for more fucking money. All right? That's what it is. Now, as I pointed out on the... Uh, blog site at tankcarstavern.com earlier today. Kenny has a history. Now, he was involved with the Highlander collectible card game and allegedly had extra rares printed off so he could sell them on the secondary market at a huge profit. Again, allegedly, it's what I've heard. Back in the day, Ken was involved with the Rapid POD, or Rapid Print-on-Demand Printing Company. And my understanding is that the books that he printed, when he did print them, a lot of people didn't get what was printed and ordered, um, were so shoddy that they would fall apart when opened. Allegedly. Allegedly. I, I did not hear this from Ken himself. I just heard this from people who claim to have been Customers of his at the time, they got royally fucked over. So, if you think that Kenny is going to be producing the Knights of the Dinner Table live action series that he's been sitting on for the last four fucking years with any intention of putting product in the hands of backers without putting his hands out for more money 
and more empty promises, you're out of your fucking mind. That's my opinion, Ken. All right? Now, Kenny, I'm sure you're going to listen to this. I'm sure you're going to read the blog post because I know you're one of my biggest, biggest fans, right? You just, oh. Um, feel free to, to, to call the show, man. If you get the Anchor app, you can leave a voicemail. Um, if you don't have the Anchor app, I can actually give you the phone number so you can leave a voicemail on my Google number. And, and, and Ken, honest to God, uh, if, if you call that number and you want to have a real f- conversation with, with, with me, I'll, I'll actually uh, call you back from the Google number. But I'm going to let you know right now, because now in New York State, only one side needs to know, but I will let you know right now I am going to record the conversation and it will be shared on the podcast. Because... How could I pass on that, right? You wouldn't pass on that. In New York State, I don't even have to tell you that. I don't, in New York State, only one side needs to know that a call is being recorded. But I would let you know ahead of time. Kenny, if you want to call the show, 347-509-5168. That is 347-509-5168. You can give me all the excuses for why... Uh, You haven't produced anything in in over four years? Pencil dice. You know? How about the fucking pencil dice? Oh, wait. uh, The Traveler TV series pilot. Um, And wasn't there also some more stuff that was supposed to be going on with the Castles and Crusades uh, video series? Oh, Ken. uh, Oh, wait. And also you had the, the dice card game. You had... Or... Whatever. You had all this wonderful stuff. I, I like the pop matic one that didn't work. And I know you're involved in the current Kickstarter. I'd have to look it up. You're one of those quasi-unnamed individuals behind the Kickstarter that's filming something. And I, I listen, I don't blame you for not putting your name on it. They probably don't want your name on it. I, I'm sure you want your name on it. I, it was on the IMDB. I know. I, I, What can I say, man? I, but Kenny... Dying, dying to talk with you, man. I'm dying to to hear about when you called the FBI and said they were going to be waiting at my house to interview me and arrest me. You thought that was the NYPD too, right? But I happened to be the NYPD at the time. So I kind of knew that you were full of shit. Ken, here's your problem. You've been so full of shit with the community for years that nobody, nobody could take you at your word. I'm surprised that the judge in New York took you at your word, and apparently you perjured yourself. You perjured yourself. That's awesome. Because perjury is a felony in New York State. Yeah. Felony in New York. Go figure figure that one out. So uh, that's okay. You can just make New York one of those states that you can't visit, because I'm sure... We don't want to see your fucking ass anyway. So, Ken, my opinion about you, just so you know, I think you're a thief. I think you're a liar. I think you're a con man. I think you're a conniver. I I personally think that you have, I'm I'm sure you have redeeming qualities. I've never seen them. All right? Uh, I know how you treat your backers. I know how you treat the people that, Invested in you, uh, not just monetarily, but emotionally, and treated you like family, and you just fucked them right over because you can't help yourself. So I'm actually pretty uh, confident that you're going to call the show and post on the blog because you can't help yourself, Ken. You love the attention. I understand that. I really do. So reach out. I'll be as nice to you on that phone call as I am right now, which probably isn't going to be all that very nice, but I'll at least be polite. And at least I'll be honest. All right? Ken, you are my least favorite living piece of shit. Here, I put it nicely. Folks, on that note, 
we are in the midst of the pandemic, and that actually makes Ken look less important, and and that if that's even possible. But uh, you know, take your use common sense, and oh, uh, common sense to deal with the, yeah. the pandemic, and common sense to deal with Ken Whitman, and common sense means you walk away from Ken Whitman, and you don't. Take anything that man is trying to sell you. Be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice. And I will talk with you all tomorrow. And maybe, you know, if Ken can't help himself and is impulsive enough, maybe I'll be talking with Ken. Ken, you want that number again? Just, just, because I don't want you, I know you, you say you have uh, ADD, right? So maybe you forgot the number already. Uh, three four seven five zero nine five one six eight, three four seven five zero nine five one six eight. All right, folks, be good. God willing, I'll talk with you all tomorrow. <laughs>